Welcome back to F1 Report everyone. At the Tuscan Grand Prix we heard the news that Sebastian Vettel would be joining the newly branded Aston Martin team next season. This move has been speculated on for so many months now and we finally have our conclusion. We originally learned that Vettel was a free agent at the start of the season when Ferrari released a statement that they would not be renewing Vettel's contract and instead choosing to sign Carlos Sainz for the 2021 season. So, as you can imagine, a four-time world champion being a free agent means lots of rumours about where he's going to end up next. The conclusion is that at the midway point of the season, Racing Point, who next season will be rebranded Aston Martin of course, announced they'll be releasing Sergio Perez from his contract at the end of the season, paving the way for Vettel to be announced as the team's new driver literally hours later. So now that it's all confirmed, I want to ask the question, Will we see a new Sebastian Vettel at Aston Martin? And by that I mean new in comparison to the one we have right now. Maybe going back to the more Red Bull Vettel perhaps? Right now Vettel is in a difficult situation. He's in a slow car which is more set up towards his teammates needs rather than himself. Which is understandable given that he's leaving the team but it's still got to be slightly frustrating for him not to be supported by his team. And that support is where I think the big difference between Vettel at Ferrari and Vettel at Aston Martin will be. Ferrari have always had a there is no driver bigger than the team mentality and this can sometimes alienate drivers who need a little bit more support to get the best out of them, especially in the mental game. Even when things were going well at Ferrari and he was challenging for the championship, at least from a public perspective there didn't seem to be a whole lot of love towards him from the team. A real shame given how much love and respect Vettel has for Ferrari. I still sometimes see him admiring some of the older Ferraris as a fan and lover of the brand and it's such a shame to see how his Ferrari career is coming to an end. Definitely a far cry from his previous team Red Bull who were always full of praise and support for him and he loved them back in return. Speaking of Red Bull, he did largely dominate in his time there with Webber however there was one season where we kind of saw that consistent support decrease slightly. It was the season where Daniel Ricciardo came to the team and he started outscoring Vettel early on. This caused Red Bull to understandably shift their focus towards the Australian and this kind of unsettled Vettel and he ended up leaving the team at the end of that season. Now I don't want to seem like I'm bashing Vettel here, that's not the intention. This is just one of the observations I've made over the years of watching him and F1 in general. I also think the mental side of F1 is massively underappreciated. The pressure and the consistency these guys have to deal with is nothing more than superhuman. So, based on what we've seen previously, a well supported, a well protected and a well loved Vettel is a different animal to one that isn't. So the real question is, will Aston Martin support Vettel in the way they need to to get the best out of him? And ultimately, I, th I think so, yeah. By signing Vettel, Aston Martin are making a statement, and that is that they intend to move forward to the front of the grid and begin challenging for championships. From Vettel, they're getting someone who knows how to win and knows how to play that long game when it comes to the championship, scoring consistently. So, it makes sense that if they are willing to invest in Vettel and bank on him to make that statement, they would be willing to look after that investment, right? Another side to that is there's currently no teammate signed for Vettel but it is widely believed it will be Lance Stroll who has performed well this season but is still very raw and still of a young talent and doesn't seem to be consistent enough for a championship challenge just yet honestly. So that seems to suggest that a Ricardo or Leclerc situation where they can come in and upset Vettel also won't happen this time out. Overall. I'm very excited to see Vettel at Aston and I hope that it gives him a new lease and really gets him going again. But what do you guys think? Do you think Vettel will get back to his best? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.